Welcome back to Postcards from a Wet Rock. I'm your host, Graham. Not Cthulhu anymore. The face is gone. You'll have to um, watch video 151. Not that it gives you much of a reason, but there's no more face anymore. So um, we're doing Slain today because it's 2018 Fridays when I, when I ever get round to it. But we're doing Sky Chariots, we're in the middle. It's like a couple of months since we were on Slain, and we're halfway through a story. Well, a third of the way through a story. But so um, there's a playlist, but the number of the episode for Sky Chariots will come up on the screen now. Look at that magic of editing. Right, so we're just going to go straight in. Um, although I will say, it's obviously Pat Mills writing it. Pat Mills writes all of it. And um, Mike McMahon's doing the art. It's done quite a lot of the art, this uh, this little run. Did Shoggy Beast anyway. But now, um, just we better do a recap. Sorry if you're watching a playlist and this recap is pointless, but think of all the other people. Don't be selfish. Come on. Anyway, faced with the choice of the extermination of his friends in Gavra or becoming Battle Smiter bodyguard um to slough rot slain reluctantly agreed to protect the sinister drone lord now we traveled north by cloud curra so um flying over leoness which is kind of like northwest france southwest england sort of area um uckos uh thrown up over the side. He's air sick, I guess. But um, Slough is getting annoyed because uh, they're giving him fresh meat and he only wants rancid. Dear, oh dear. Which makes Ucko laugh because he says um, Slane will have to be his food taster as a bodyguard and he's going to eat the rancid meat. But uh, Slough Throt said, no, don't be, no. I, I, this, this is properly rotten meat, I can tell. So he doesn't need him. But um, he does tell Slane he's neglecting his duties in other ways because he will stop at nothing to destroy me. Um, and he, he tells Slane to go and lock everything up below. But Slane wants to know who he is. The only answer he gets is him. We do know, we do know that um, Slane was meant to be killed. It was an order from Slough Egg, which Slough Rot is refusing. And he's escaping to the north with uh, Slane because he realises Slane has defeated Slough Egg. So he, he senses a, ch a chance here, doesn't he? But uh, they go down to the hold, which is where Slough Throat wants to send him, make sure if he's locked up. What they find downstairs is what, uh, what they'll explain here. Half-dead men who had died but were trapped between the planes. And they're all in a big cage. And Slane recognises three of his friends, Killer Stir, Shavran the Surly, and Bress Bloodspear. And they're all zombies. They've been taken north. What have they been taken north for? By, by, by merchants. So presumably they're going to be sold. Oh, cannon fodder. Well, battle fodder, they say. Didn't have cannons in them, them days. Makes sense. But um, they don't recognise Slane. Ako explains that, you know, they're half dead, mate. Not getting nothing out of them. But he goes back upstairs. Uh, uh, well, up, up on deck, to use the technical term. Where there's a bit of a kerfuffle going on. Assassin! If I hadn't turned round, that barrel would have killed me. An accident, Lord. It slipped from my grasp. But uh, Slough Throt, he doesn't consider it an accident. He thinks it's uh, Slough Fleg. Or he doesn't say Fleg. He says him. I know it was him. Slain, you should have been here to protect me. He is out to get me. But uh, he's going to show him. And he strips this man who's knocked the barrel over to his... Uh, well, he just stripped him and stuck him up on the mast. And the Droon Lord raised his hand and made mystic ogham signs. Mm. So, all these crows come. 
peck his eyes out and well they peck all of it out there's nothing left of him and it's just this i love this nothing else happened that day but uh and then the storm comes up next morning a howling gale overtook us and hurled the cloud curra downwards well he is trying to destroy me says slough rock who is he answer me throt but the, the, he's too busy the, the stone the weird stone that's keeping them afloat which if you remember they 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 use the dolmen to charge up to make them fly but uh, it's weakening so they've got to sacrifice a bull unfortunately scared by the storm the bulls have all broken out of their pen and are, are rampaging over the deck it's a disaster but Akko, during all this melee, he says, uh, I know who's after him, Lord. A droon fears no one, but another droon. Your dwarf is right. By travelling north, I am defying the Lord Weird, Slough Fig. That truth is out now. That's why I chose you as a bodyguard, because you outwitted him at Droon Maton. And Slain realises he's caught in a battle of sorcerers. And uh, basically, he takes a bull on. There's a bull charging him. Next prog, slain the beast tamer. Can't wait. Here it is. So, um, slain's wrestling one of these creatures to the deck. Taming a beast, I guess. But, uh, the rest smash through the gunwales, carrying passengers and crew with them. Oh, dear. It's... Uh, all the bulls are gone. They have got this one that Slain's wrestled. Slain's dragging him back to the pound. And they put this beast's head in this, what do you call them, stocks. And they cut his head off and use the blood, pour it over the weird stone. And the boat rises again. And while at the same time, the fury of the storm abated. It's all magic, you see. It's, um... Slough is happy. I have triumphed over Slough Feg. My magic is greater than his. But Akko points out that Slain killed the bull. And uh, listen, you stinkard. When I agreed to be your battle smiter, you didn't tell me you'd fallen out with your leader. Feg won't rest until you're dead. Maybe I should save him the trouble. Akko encourages this. Uh, Throt points out that Slain gave his word as a sincere warrior. But uh, Slain says, breaking my word to a drone is no hardship. Anyway, um, uh, points out Akko, Slain got kicked out of his tribe after that trouble with Neve. Mm. So Slain wants to know why Fig wants him dead. And he's threatening Throt, driving a hole through his body a bird can fly through. So he's not afraid of this. He's Droon Lord. Right, Slane's not really afraid of anything, really. But um, it might have gone badly for the Priest King. But at that moment, Sky Blades. Well, we're waiting for this bit. But these Sky Blades, they're the vessels of Norsemen who plundered the Skyways. Um, so they are Sky Vikings. And what could be more brilliant than that? Um, but... Uh, Slain realises they've got to deal with this now, so um, Throt's explanations will have to wait. But anyway, we get a look at these Sky Vikings. Get some nice names here. Hadric, Hissing Blade, Bork, the Brutal, Thorgrim, Iron Jaw. There's, there's loads of them. I like this one. Hogni, the Not Normal. Uh, and Hengist, the Strong but Stingy. Remember, man, all the loot belongs to me. You get your wages. So that's fun. Um, and they basically, they just, uh, they, well, they they, uh, they have these grappling hooks and be, they're all berserkers, apparently. And they're sliding down these grappling hooks. Uh, Slane just cuts one of the grappling hooks. And this guy's falling to his death. Ah, ah goodbye. Anyway. Some of the passengers are so scared they're throwing themselves overboard. It's, uh, Slain's in his element. The matter must be decided in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Wow. 
and he's involved in the right battle here. He tells this Norseman he has no right here. But he says, to, to, to the brave belong all things. That may be so, but you'll shrink in your horns before me. He says he doesn't, doesn't fear him. He said he only fears the straw death dying in his bed. Then rejoice, for I save you from a boring death. And uh, he kills him. So that's good. But next week, sky battle. So this is going to go on. But the other sky blade, look at this. The, ha the cliffhanger. It's coming to ram them. Uh, one more blow and they'll break in half. And Slain realises we'll have to release the half dead. Got the zombie soldiers coming up. I mean, our battle fodder anyway. But uh, as Slain winched the half dead up from the hold, the weird stone on deck stirred them into ghastly life. The merchant uh, is not very happy with this. This is his stock. Forget your profits, merchant, or you'll taste my fist. Probably don't want to do that. Because they're attacking from below, they basically chuck the wooden cage full of the half-dead overboard, lands on the deck of the sky blade, and that, that, that releases them all in the berserkers. Uh, they are savage warriors, but nothing could match the demonic fury of these creatures from beyond the grave. Wow, there's a lovely sequence here with uh, these zombies overtaking this this ship. The ship veered out of control and crashed. That's one down. This is a beautiful piece of art. I love this page. The first guy blade renewed the attack. And um, most of it, they basically boarded um, Throt's vessel. Slain just thinks it's ploughing time again. And he lays into them all. Hear me, stranger. You fight well enough to be my own son. Join us. Let's share the plunder together. My parentage is none of your concern, replies Slain. It was it was not an old goat like you that sired me. Well, this just made him angry. He says, he says, whoever your father is, he loses his son today. If you won't drink at my side, you'll lie at my feet. Oh, they're, they're full of these little uh, bon mots, aren't they? But yeah, Slain's killed him. In fact, he stuck his axe between his shoulder blades and forces him to kneel before him. That's a move, isn't it? But uh, as Thorgrim Ironjaw died, the rest of the Norsemen, you'll pay for that in blood, Spike Hair. Aye, finish the scum who thinks he's too good for us. And they attack Slain. Slain matched and blow for blow with a little bit of help from Ucko. As we thought, the second Skyblade began to close on us. And the Druins conferred with Slough Throt. If they get aboard, not even the Barbarian will be able to uh, withstand such odds. And you know what we must do to save the ship. Act quickly before Slain tries to stop you. Next, Prog. Chariots on fire. Yeah, I'd try and stop them setting light to the vessels. But that's those three episodes. There'll be one more part of Slain, but we're going to do next time we do 2018. It's going to be I can't. Um, I think we, I, I think it's Rogue Trooper. We can do another Rogue Trooper. Then Judge Dread, and then we'll be back to. to Oh, you, if you, you know the schedule, um, if you just watch the playlists um, and then just wait to see what videos crop up. Um, that's my advice. Do it the way you want to do it. It's YouTube. It's whatever you like, isn't it? Like and subscribe. Done that bit. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, yeah, next Friday is probably Rogue Trooper. It might be Strong in Dog, but I'm pretty sure it's Rogue Trooper. Um, and on Monday... Don't know what I'm doing, uh, but it'll be an old European comic or, or one from the UK or something or other. I don't know. I'll have to have a look into that. Uh, that's it. Bye.